Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Queen Arab and your Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of September general love reading. Now, keep in mind it's a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that is watching. If you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So for my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was Best of Me by Chrisette Michelle. As it goes, Chrisette Michelle happens to be a fellow Sagittarius. So this could definitely, I feel like for sure, like 100%, this message is relating to how you feel. She says literally in a song like, you know, you she gave the best of herself to this person. But I'm going to tell you very cut and clear what I heard with this. You were literally their best and now they're experiencing the worst. And this is not saying you wishing this for them or anything negative. That I, that's just what I'm picking up. You were literally the best thing that happened to this person and they they thought they could find better. Or they're dealing with someone else and they're realizing like, yeah, this is this this experience is hell. I feel like whoever your ex is with right now, that person's a karmic and this karmic is taking karmic energy to the max. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Like they are teaching them all types of karmic lessons. They are going through all types of karmic twists and turns with this individual. Okay, this karmic situation that they are currently in is turning their ass every which way but loose. And I'm serious. And I feel like they are going to start grieving you. Or if they're not already is what I'm getting here. I also want to tell you, bottom of the deck, we have your energy with the Knight of Wands. And at the back of the deck, you have the Lovers. There could be a Gemini involved or you guys got new love coming in or you're dating somebody new. I feel like for a lot of you all, it's new love coming in because she's here physically. He's not, but he's already in her energy. He's surrounding her. So for those of you who are single, I feel like you definitely have new love coming in. It could be a Gemini. It doesn't have to be. I'm also getting for some of you all, it could be someone that you met in Gemini season, but things just didn't go anywhere. Okay. Gemini season is May, June time frame. Of course, that won't apply to everyone. Just put the details that resonate with you, you know, associated with your situation. So we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the temperance card. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we will get clarifiers for those cards. Cards Lee at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Wands. Fast moving communication. Coming out of the blue unexpectedly. I also feel like because you guys are associated with Wands because you're fire. You have a strong eight in your birth date. So the 8th, 18th, 28th. I also feel like in the next eight days you will have some type of communication coming in very quickly. And it's going to be unexpected. That's what I'm saying. For some of you all, somebody that you made a connection with but you guys just stopped talking for whatever reason... They're going to be reaching out to you because this is unexpected communication coming in quickly also. I also feel like, you know, this always get Cupid arrows as well. I feel like a lot of you guys have new love coming in. It's, it's going to be very unexpected. You're not even going to be thinking about it because you can still be healing from this current situation. I, I just feel like something new is coming in. Okay. Did I say that? Look at that. You got a page of cups. There's some new, something new budding, something new coming your way. They could be a water sign, can't spice the Scorpio. Doesn't have to be, just put it out there. But yeah, I feel like somebody new is coming into your life. Yep, the world card. Travel distance for a movement. Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. For some of you guys, you can be meeting somebody who's a Scorpio because that water with the page cups, and then you got water again. Some of you guys can be meeting a Scorpio, or you can be meeting somebody in Scorpio season. Scorpio season is October, November time frame. Um you have the eight of wands, so within the next eight weeks, some of you guys can meet somebody, and I know that seems far, but I feel like the universe is making sure there's, like, maximum healing, because cups is your emotions and feelings. The universe wants to make sure you are completely healed, so there's no third-party energy lingering, because if you look behind his head, there's a triangle upside down. Up, You know, a triangle has three points, so they want to make sure there's no lingering energy with you and the third party. They want to make sure you moved on before they send a person who's going to be long-term into your life. So let's see. We want, yeah, there's somebody coming in for you. Karmic justice. Yeah, somebody who's going to balance you. The yin to your yang. You got yin and yang right here. Yep. Light and dark, masculine, feminine. You got somebody that you're going to have a long-term connection with coming in towards you all. Also, if somebody did you dirty, they are about to get justice. And, and again, this is not you seeking justice because, see, she's blindfolded. So I don't feel like you're seeking it like you want this person to suffer, but... I feel like their they're karma. Remember I told you before we even seen that justice, this person is dealing with a karmic right now. And I mean, this this situation is, whatever they're going through is hell. I'm not going to lie to you. That's that's what I was picking up intuitively. And I was even feeling energetically like they're around somebody who just, mm-mm, they ain't no you. Okay, I can tell you that. 
So right in front of you, you have the Knight of Cups. You guys definitely got love coming in. I really feel like it could be either a water sign or during water sign season. The very last water sign season of this year is Scorpio, again, October, November. Or this person could be a Cancer, Spice, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and a Visual. They could be water and fire combination because I always look at this hat and the feathers look like flames. So this person could be a fire sign rising, Leo, Sag, Aries, rising. You could be a Sag rising, you know, and you just have a lot of water placements in your chart. Because, you know, people look at their signs, you know, all their signs most of the time for a lot of people. But you have the Knight of Cups. That's your Knight of Shining Armor, Princess Shining Armor. Somebody coming in and sweep you off your feet. There's your energy. And then you have the Seven of Wands, Garden is Defensiveness, Protection, and Blockages. For a lot of you guys, you may block them on everything or you already did. But that doesn't stop them from still trying to come at you. You see how the Wands are still trying to come at them. So I feel like somebody's still trying to reach out to you because they realize everything was quite abundant and beautiful with you. Will of Fortune, you made the life, you made the living fine. And they ain't getting that with this other person. Look, you are the will of fortune, like a big wheel. This person is motherfucking, things are slow, stagnant with this new person, you know. You may have found out because you do have the um, Knight of Pentacles. You may find out that this person, your ex started a relationship in Virgo season. They, I feel like they're already going through some heavy karmic challenges with that individual bottom of the deck you have the page of wands page of messengers again somebody's coming in trying to reach out to you and then also something is budding in your love life because you see how he's holding the wine there and then you have the leaves that's budding he's looking at it there's there's going to be something budding in your love life also let down your guards let down your guards so this new person can come in you have the seven of swords liar cheater manipulator sneak conniver some type of deception I feel like this person's acting like they're over you, but they're not because why are you moving forward? They, they claim that they've moved on, but they're looking back, you know? So that's going to clarify for your Knight of Cups as well as your Seven of Wands. Knight of Cups, Seven of Wands. Let's get clarified for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. I keep wanting to say September, and of course, we're in September as I'm doing this reading, but something significant happened in September. Every time I say Sagittarius in my mind, I keep wanting to say September. So something very, very significant happened in September. Um, yeah, somebody lost you. They lost a real one. Okay. They lost something that was stable. The Queen of Pentacles is the most stable queen in all of tarot. Okay. I want to also point out that here in the Wheel of Fortune, you have a rabbit. Um, and right here in the corner, you have a rabbit. So rabbits talk about luck, abundance, fertility. Somebody could have found out they were pregnant or lost a pregnancy. And I've seen you love, that is the case because you see how the pinnacle is right near a stomach area, almost like a baby bump, but it's in reverse. So someone could have lost a pregnancy or decided to terminate a pregnancy. Um, and then also, like I said, somebody lost something that was stable. Could be done with a Taurus, doesn't have to be, just put it out there. Also, some could be born in the year of the rabbit. And then, of course, last year was the year of the rabbit. So, something could have ended with you and this person last year. And you blocked this person. And you were healing and moving on. And then this person, you have somebody new coming in. For a lot of you, I'll definitely get that. Let's get a clarify for that Knight of Cups. Universal Energy. Oh, and this one wants to flip all over the place. Five of Wands, Conflicts, Arguments, Disagreements. Because of land over here, I'm going to put it there. Something with a fire sign, you know, it could be you or it could be another fire sign. But again, a right is conflicts, arguments, disagreements. You're like, I'm not even arguing with you. I'm just going to block your ass, okay? I feel like this person like to argue. They like drama. That's what I'm getting. See, that's why they end up with a karmic person because they like drama. You didn't like that shit. You weren't entertaining that. And Sagittarius or people who have strong Sagittarius placements are typically very chill and very cool like that. They don't like all the drama. They don't like all the hoopla and carrying on. And so you block this person because you're like, I'm not going to come battle with other people over you. I'm not doing all that drama. I'm too cool for that. I ain't doing it. You know, I'm just going to move on. I feel like for a lot of y'all, you have blocked the hell out of this person. I mean, block even emails, okay? If a carrier pigeon came, you swatting that bitch down because like, oh, don't come over here with that nonsense. Bottom of the deck, you have the death card, but they don't want it to be done over with. And I'm going to say again, something's coming in the Scorpio season. I picked that up. So... Something's coming in in Scorpio season or with a Scorpio because death card, that's Scorpio. You also have Taurus. Remember, I was talking about Taurus. You had Taurus here. It, it, this is Scorpio, but this looks like the hair font to me, so I always get Taurus. Some of y'all can have a child or children with this person. I never get that with this card, but somebody's godparent got involved in the situation because there's a lot of people involved here. The godparent like of your children, like you could have made somebody that was a friend or a family member, somebody 
your child's godparent and they somehow got involved in a drama and getting that also. But the death card in reverse means there's a lack of an ending. Like somebody was trying to fight an ending. Um, and then I also get, like I said, something that could have taken off, but it just didn't go anywhere. This person's coming back because it's not over. The death card in reverse is not over. I don't feel like this is your ex. I feel like this is somebody that you met or somebody that there was kind of like, like some type of flirtation ship going on. But it just didn't take off. This person's coming back. And I really do feel like either they are a Scorpio, sun or moon, or they're coming back in Scorpio season. Again, October, November time frame. Let's get a clarifier for this Knight of Cups. Universal energies of light, love, and divine protection. Give me a clarifier for the Knight of Cups. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals. I feel like they haven't gone anywhere. The Three of Wands is... I'm getting two messages with this. Three of Wands is looking towards the future, seeing something happy, seeing something successful, waiting for the positivity to come in. That bright yellow talks about positivity, joy, exuberance, vibrancy. In reverse, I feel like for some of you all, you know, this is looking towards the future. You are Wands. You realize, like, there, there's no future with this person, so I'm not even going to entertain it. I'm going to allow myself to be open to something new coming in. And then also, I feel like for your, the person you were dealing with, they thought that this situation that they were going to be in with this new person was going to herald or call in something positive. It, it just didn't. Whoever they're dealing with, that they ain't the real McCoy. They ain't the real deal. Somebody's last name might be McCoy because I don't even know why I said that. But, you know, they're they not the one. And now, you know, I feel like they're going to try to come reaching back out to you. Um, for some of you all, they may even try to reach out on your birthday. And they'll, they'll realize that you blocked them on everything. I also feel like they're talking to friends and mutual associates about the situation. You you don't give a damn because you're moving on for sure. And for a lot of y'all, like I said, I definitely feel like it's going to be a water sign. Or you're going to meet this person in Scorpio season. So what I'm getting, you got a lot of fire here. Fire, fire, fire. And of course, you are fire, but there could be a fellow fire sign involved here. Because even when we stop with the um, Wheel of Fortune, you do have... A line at the top, so that could be Leo. So you could have been dealing with Leo. Um, this person's birthday could have a three in it, the third, 13th, 23rd, a seven, seven, 17, 27th, or a five, five, 15th, or the 25th. They also could be a life path, a life path number three, five, or seven. Or you could, because you do have wands here, and of course, that's your energy. Okay? So, Sagittarius, someone rising Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button, and until next time, take care and be well. Bye.